Yo guys, welcome back and today I got a television. And why did I get such a small television? 40 inches only? Well, that's for a reason and it was actually surprisingly hard to find a television that was 4K and as small as possible, kind of like this 40 inch here, which in reality I think it says 39 and a half. So. so I was looking for a TV that could be very suitable for an Xbox and specifically for this Logitech G920 simulator is what I need is a TV that can be compatible with high refresh rates and slash be able to do the 4K that this Xbox puts out, which is upscaled, but it's still is very nice to see the 4k over the 1080 and it makes a huge difference in experience but with driving games you, you got to have the refresh rate of the tv be compatible with xbox which is at 60 hertz and this thing can do 60 hertz 4k and not only that it upscales the 60 to 120 so we're going to see how well that works also and the reason for the size i was trying to get as small as possible because i wanted to get something that i can build a simulator a driving simulator out of this steering wheel and pedal kit so there's not much you can find at this size with 4k unless you start going to a monitor and those get crazy expensive in this size range so since we're only running an xbox this should be plenty enough so this is a vizio v series i guess the little better version of the lower class d series and it does have the dolby vision hdr which is supposed to be really good in any case it's just a tv it has all the features smart tv it comes with the remote obviously so let's just go ahead and unbox this thing and check it out all right so on the top here we have a quick start guide and instructions kind of how to put the legs together and how to hook up all your ports i guess <laughs> all right so there's leg number one leg number two the remote the power cord and some more stuff in there all right and there it is nicely nestled in there so it came out very easy just pulled it out let's check out what kind of ports this thing has so we have a usb 2.0 hdmi 1 2 and 3 and the first one is an arc cable tv antenna connection direct ethernet connection optical audio output then we got an analog audio output and a composite input kind of interesting that they still have composite so here we have the control buttons the power volume and the input nice little logo and it does have the mount here that you can mount the television, which is quite important to me for later. And then this is where our power cord will go in. And this is more information about the TV. All right, let's put these legs on. So you will need a Phillips screwdriver and the four included bolts, holes here, and then through the leg. All right, so our feet are on, and now we can stand it up. But before we do that, let's go ahead and plug in our power cord. All right, so I plugged in the TV. It looks like it's powered on, and most likely we're going to have to set it up here. So let's go ahead and grab this remote. So this is a typical Vizio remote. It does come with two AAA batteries. So the remote's quite nice. It does have hot buttons. Voodoo, Netflix, Amazon, Sumo, I guess, Crackle, and iHeartRadio. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up. How are we using the TV? Home or demo? USA? So this is pretty straightforward, not too hard to figure out. And we're going to connect to our network. Obviously, you put in your password. So it's connecting. Probably going to have to do some updates and things like that. So, so it's asking us where the TV is at. I guess we are in the game room. So it looks like maybe we're coming to an end of setup, hopefully here. All these policies and stuff. All right, so finally, it looks like we are on and working. So initial response looks pretty good for the TV here. It looks quite clean, even being close to it. So this is the main menu that you start with. What we need to do is we need to hook up the Xbox to this. So let's go ahead and pull out this old monitor here and bring in the new television. All right, so the screen is up and what we need to do is select our input. I did put the Xbox on input one or HDMI one, should I say. All right, so it's telling me there is no signal. Let's go ahead and start this Xbox and there we go. All right, so on the remote, let's click info. And here we can see what kind of resolution we're at. We're at 1080p, so that is not 4K. But even at 1080p, it's looking pretty good. And not too bad for sure. Another thing is I'm thinking that maybe we need to change it to game mode. So let's go to menu. Got a little menu that pops up. Go to picture. We can go side to side and choose the different menus. Standard. Calibrated dark, vivid, and game. So let's leave it on game just in case that will help us with refresh rate and all that stuff. So, all right, so I'm going to start the Forza Horizon 3 here because I know that plays in 4K. It's looking super good here. Let's see info. 
1080p still, strange. Yeah, that's definitely, it looks nice, but it's definitely not 4K. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to get it to 4K. Let's go ahead and go into the menu. I, I think maybe something here we can maybe change. So we got picture, audio, network, channels. All right, here we go. So input settings. All right, so we are on HDMI 2 right now. So let's go here. What is this? Full. Okay, so this is 4K right here. It says full UHD. That's ultra high definition and it's off. So you got to manually turn on the ability for this thing to do 4K. That's kind of weird. Okay. All right, so let's turn that on. All right. Well, it looks cleaner for sure, actually. Yeah, look at that. It's much cleaner. So I'm going to click the info. And there you go. Look at that. 2160p. That's 4K. So we now have officially 4K and it looks amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. So let's hope we don't have motion blur. I'm going to go ahead and start this game here. Alright, let's see. Okay, well I can definitely tell that there is some motion blur when I'm turning. Everything's kind of like popping a little bit. Let's see if I can get close to the TV so you guys can see a little better. If you look at those buildings right there, and if I'm going to start turning, you can see there's like some kind of like a bounce. You can see the bounce. Well, actually, I just realized I'm recording in 24p, so you guys are seeing worse than I'm seeing it. I mean, it's not bad, but you can I can definitely tell. But other than that, the game itself looks very nice. I think I forgot to change the setting, picture setting, when I went to HDMI 2. I was trying to figure out the 4K thing, so I switched to HDMI. So let's go to picture. Okay, it's on Vivid. That's why it looks so crazy. Okay, so this is game right here. So maybe this will help us. Let's see. Oh yeah, guys, for sure. You can't tell on the video camera that I'm recording, but I can tell a difference for sure. I think when you go to game, it, it makes the refresh rate better for gaming. All right, pretty cool. I can live with that. That's not too bad. So yeah, you can tell guys that the TV is not huge, but it is, you know, very nice size. And the steering wheel is definitely too close to the TV right now. It needs to be probably another foot away for it to be perfect. Uh, so far, this is awesome. I'm, I'm thinking this is definitely a good choice. We actually are getting 4K, and you can tell by the image quality, it's ridiculous. It's very nice. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in real close here so you guys can really see that it is 4K. I mean, it's pretty astonishing how close I am. And you guys can see the details. Let's see if I can get to this fence here. So yeah, the detail is there. The 4K is there. The refresh rate seems very reasonable. I think we got something really good here. And the best part about all this is I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for this television. So this is a 40 inch, so 39 and a half, 40 inch screen. And I paid out the door 220 bucks. So in my book, with what it has to offer, it seemed to be a great deal. I mean, I can't find a monitor anywhere near this size or even 30s like low 30s for you know under 500 bucks or so maybe 400 but something not even good you know because the xbox is orientated towards a regular television this is the best setup for it i think so all right and that's the vizio 50 inch v series tv so i got a chance to test it out a little bit and everything is definitely what i expected it to be and probably more so the image quality is great the refresh rate is also great especially for a driving game. And it's definitely going to be the perfect size once I build the racing simulator. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you want to check out my other videos on my main channel, I'll have some links here at the end. There'll be a lot more racing simulator stuff coming up. So if you enjoyed things like that, then hit that subscribe button to see more. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.